Hello there, welcome back to another video and in this video I am going to show you how you can use figure class and access class in matplotlib so without wasting any more time let's get into the coding so guys first of all we need to import uh, uh, let's take import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so now the first class we have is the figure class and let me just show you uh, let's take fig equal to plt dot figure and this is how you can basically generate a figure object from your plt and what uh, figure is going to do is basically it is kind of a container for every kind of plots uh, so you can say that uh, figure can have multiple plots inside it so we will see what it is going to do now the next class that we need to talk here is the access class so what i am need uh, what i need to do is let's take access is equal to uh, fig dot add underscore access and here we need to give some values so 0 0 let's take 0 0 and 1 and 1 so before i move on let me just also add some data to plot here so let's take x equal to np dot uh, i also need to import numpy and port numpy as np and let's take x dot np dot a range and i need to get it from 0 to math dot pi times 2 and i need to get 0 0.05 or uh, yeah the distance i need is 0 0.05 I also need to import math so let's import math and now what I'm going to do is y1 equal to np dot sign of x and y2 equal to np dot cos sign of x now we have this and I will tell you what it is going to do now let's just focus on this x is equal to fig dot add axis and we have provided some values here I will tell you in a bit what these values are so let me just explain you once again what a figure class is so let's suppose you have this area you can call this area as a figure and it will act as a container for all other kind of plots so you can have multiple plots like here so what I am going to do is I am going to add two axes in this figure class. So what it is going to do basically it will have two plots inside the same area. Now let's just move on. Uh, we have added an axis and also let's take axis equal to fig dot add underscore axis. And here I need to provide some values. So let's take 0, 1, 1, and 1. I will tell you what are these, and it should be axis 1. Okay, now let's do axis dot plot. And now what I'm going to plot here is x, comma, y1. And on the axis 1 dot plot, I'm going to use x, comma, y2. Now let's just run this code and see what will happen. And it is not showing some anything, so let's me do this plot dot show. Okay, so it is showing me an warning. So let me just do this one more thing. L1 L2 equal to. Okay, so it is not working right now. Yeah. So what I had to do is I had to bring out uh, bring this in the same line in the same what do we say in the same cell as this okay so as you can see here we have cosine and we have sine images now this is a single plot and we have added two subplots basically you can say and um, two subplots are added in this now you will see what are the uses of this in uh, upcoming videos so let's uh, move on to next thing that I want to tell you is the only thing that 
left here is what are these values so basically if we talk about a graph okay so what happens is that it starts from zero uh, zero and then it moves here and here this is the x-axis this is the y-axis so similarly in the same thing is happening here so the first uh, axis that we have added here is starting from zero 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 position and it has a length of one and one so this is going to be one comma one okay and now the second axis we are starting from the zero at zero x so our x is zero so it is going to be this and we have our y as one so the starting point for this is going to be this the, for our second axis and it will start from here and it also has a length of one and one so it is it will go here here like this and it will be like one comma two okay and now if you will see here you can see we have our values like this so we have started from yeah so we uh, this is our zero and because we are using uh, sign so this y and this is why it is plotting from zero to my uh, basically minus one to one so now as you can see here we have both these plots here and these plots are on top of each other so if we want to make them sit next to each other like this all we need to do is we need to change the position so let's take zero and one and now they are besides each other so we have this and then we have cosine now you can also label them using set underscore x label and set underscore y label but i'm not going to do that and i hope that you understood how you can add multiple axes here and if you want to add another axis you can also add another one so let's do this and let's make uh, axis 2 and make it at position let's make it at 0 1 or let's make it at 1 1 so you will see it will appear somewhere it will appear here okay and let me just also plot this so i am just plotting again y2 here and let me just change it to axis 2 okay indentation error now we have this and you do not need these values because it just returns some well uh, it just returns this also so you can store them or either you cannot it is up to you so if you will remove them it is going to be okay so this was it for this video guys and i hope that you understood the concepts here i'll see you next time thanks for watching Thank you.